Raphael Baker reporting for Fighting Proud. I just did with the retainer, Carl Brick. How you doing, bro? Feeling good? Yeah. Feeling good. Uh, nice little media workout, a nice reception from the fans, having the, the, the crack and the banter with, with the fans. Uh, right. I'm good. See you on the body bug there with that guy out in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Bob, Bobby's, yeah, uh, yeah. He, he, you know, he, he writes for the Sheffield Star, so right. he'd write a few articles what's upset me, so I'd give him a little dig. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Obviously, Robchenko, what do you know about him? I know that he's, uh, I spar with him, and he's tough, rugged, redder, uh, experienced fighter, and uh, he's, he's coming to bring it March 3rd. I mean, you moved up to like obviously this new weight class. How are you feeling in this new weight? Do you feel stronger? I feel stronger. I feel a lot healthier. Uh, I'm recovering a lot better, you know, in between sessions because I'm not I'm not killing myself and restricting my food. So, you know, I'm I'm, I'm in a, a lot better place, obviously. Right. Okay. So, moving forward, what what do you want out of 2018? What, what's, I want to be active. Radar? I want to be. I want to be fighting regular. I want to be in the gym. I want to be around great people, and uh, I just want to. I want to. I want to win, and I want to. Uh, I just want. I just want to be in, in some uh, mouth watering mm. square ups. Right, and who's on your radar? Anyone in particular? If you come through on Saturday night, I mean, in, uh, on March fifth. There's, there's many. There's many fight, fighters out there, but I think you are trying to get to the calm one. Of mm. course, uh, that's the one we want. That's the one. Okay. What did you make of Khan's reaction at the press conference with uh, Le Greco? You know, I think the if that were if that were me, you know, I would have punched uh, Greco in right. the, in the teeth. Right. You know, I think you know bringing bringing personal stuff over about that is uh, it's a bit it's a bit past you know a bit crossing line a little bit maybe uh, you know but it were it were it were. Um, it was good for for, for viewers mm. seeing seeing the water getting chucked and uh, you know the bit of banter. But being involved with it, being that person, I bet it's not as obviously weren't as nice for for Khan. Right. I mean, obviously everyone's talking about that fight between you and Khan. Uh, you gonna Khan still still at one four seven? Would you meet at the middle? Because I know you're not looking we would to meet go back at the middle. Would meet at the middle because he, you know his fight's actually at one fifty for this fight. So oh, it's one fifty. Okay. Yeah. Why not make our fight at 150? I'm mm. willing to go 150. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think you know he's similar, same age as me, and uh, I know that he had a long time out, and it's going to be a struggle for him to make 147. He, he, he's not like a natural welterweight, mm -hmm. so you know. Right. Now, obviously, looking at the welterweight division, obviously you're not involved. Who do you think's the king of the hill at this moment in the welterweight division? It has to be Errol Spencer at the minute. You know, mm. Ari. Uh, Ari destroyed Peterson and uh, you know he looked very good he looked very good you know I'd still like to see him in with Thurman yeah uh, I think Sean Porter would like to put him in with him yeah you know, Sean Porter's no joke yeah um, tough competitor into tough. his uh, I'd put Thurman Thurman Porter and Spence and Spence being the top one what do you reckon of Terence Crawford uh, fighting let me tell you about Terence Crawford well, unbelievable fight yeah you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight well to it because he is he is serious guy, serious. Mm. So, uh, do you, you think know, he can mix it with the Fairmans? I, think he, out I there? think he can mix it with the Fairmans. You know, he's tall, mm -hmm. he's, nat he's naturally big. You know, it's uh, and uh, I believe that he's got he's got he's got all the tools. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing seeing him fight uh, in that division now. Right. I just want to pick your brains. Last question um, in relation to the fight this weekend, uh, massive fight. Who, who are you picking? I have to go with Groves. I have to go with right. Groves because a lot of experience. Mm. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. Still, yeah, come it, off it, that fence. Come I'm, off I'm that not going to I'm not, I'm not be on no offence. I'm right. going to say Groves. Right. I'm going to say Groves. the experience there. Yeah. I'm going to say the power, the accuracy. You know, he's very sharp. Mm. And, he, and I know that he's been training very hard for this fight. Mm -hmm. So... That's who I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna right. go with him by knockout, actually. Knockout. Knockout. Any, any round, particular round? Round eight. Round eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To see your first. Cal, do you have anything else to say to your fans? What? Tune in right March third. Come back after two two broken eyes, and uh, let's see what I've got. And I'm telling you now, I've got a lot left. How's the chocolate brownies gonna look? They're in the oven right now. They're in the oven baking nicely. <laughs> it's not very complacent.